one of the things that you really want to get right is the storage in the back of your four-wheel drive. And I'll show you what I've done with my V6 Amarok. Well, firstly, I've installed this ARB canopy and it is one of my favorite accessories of all time. Why? Well, the old canopies used to have six locks right around the extremities and you had to open each one of those ones up separately. Not this one, let me show you how it works. A little sneaky button in here, hit that and bang, you are into the side. Same goes with the other side and the back of the canopy as well. It really just takes a whole lot of stress out of it. And the beauty of it is, is you can actually lock it with your central locking as well. It's all linked up, so your entire rig can be locked with one button. Another really cool accessory with this canopy is it's got a little vent up the front of it. Now, we will all know anyone that's got a dual cab with a canopy, they are almost impossible to seal. They're simply not really built that way, like a wagon. And the tailgate has gaping big holes that suck in a whole lot of dust. But if you have that little vent up the top, what it does is it just drives a little bit of air pressure down into your canopy and it causes a positive void in here, which means that the dust is far less likely to come in. It won't be dust free, but it will cut your dust by, I reckon, about 80 to 90%. Let me show you around the back. Okay, so this is the business end of the Amarok storage. Now, we've got a set of ARB Outback storage drawers here, and these are just super heavy duty. They will carry a massive load so it's a really good spot to mount that heavy kind of equipment and certainly foodstuffs as well you can really just put loads and loads of food in these things and you can actually swing off these things they are so heavy duty really good and lockable as well if you're concerned about that but storage is all about maximizing every bit of space you've got in the back of your vehicle so underneath this panel here we've got our air compressor. And this is where we plug it in just up there and it's activated via that little switch. So it really is a nifty setup. But on the other side, we've mounted our second battery. The second battery powers our fridge and other accessories, but it also powers our inverter. So if we wanna change our 12 volts out to 240 volts, that is how we do it. So that's how we charge up our laptop and anything else that requires 240. And finally, you wanna make sure that the right things are accessible at the right time, like your recovery kit. I like to treat it like a first aid kit because I tell you what, when the proverbial hits the fan, you wanna make sure that you can access your straps nice and quickly to get yourself out of trouble because no one likes to be bogged up to the neck for too long.